the golden book characters narrator mrs williams mr williams emma emily angel scene suddenly the narrator hears the woman yelling in a nearby house oh my god can you all hear this shout let's find out what's going on there you dishonest girl where is my diamond ring no madam i have not seen your ring you liar you just cleaned my room where is my ring tell me now poor emily started crying bitterly she told it many times to mrs williams but the cruel lady doesn't want to listen to her she keeps on blaming her suddenly mr williams enters the room and asks about the matter what's happening here why are you yelling at emily why are you crying emily this girl is a big liar and has stolen my diamond ring emily has stolen your ring how can you say that what's the proof this girl is a thief she has just cleaned the room and my ring was there on the dressing table no sir i am innocent i have not done anything wrong wait mrs williams i think you are mistaken here why would emily steal your ring just then mrs williams daughter emma enters the same room and asks her father about the matter mr williams tells everything to emma and says that emily is honest and innocent hearing this mrs williams gets angry at her husband and yells after hearing everything emma starts sweating and shivering mr williams notices this and asks emma but she starts trembling with fear then an angel appears in front of emma and only emma can see that angel she gets surprised and asks who are you how have you come here i am the messenger of god i am here to help you in this difficult situation what difficult situation how do you know about this and why can't others see you my dear child emma others will not be able to see me because right now you are stuck between good and bad i know you have taken your mother's diamond ring but now you are scared to tell the truth right now as you have fear of getting punishment but emma let me tell you that if you will not tell the truth to your parents and to this poor girl emily then you will lose their trust forever and remember that if you are cheating your parents it means you are cheating the god so my child don't be scared and tell the truth to your parents because god loves those who never cheat anyone after listening to angel's right advice Emma musters up all her courage and tells everything to her parents. She apologizes and asks them to forgive her. They get shocked when they come to know about the truth. Emma stands quietly with her head down and waits for her punishment. Suddenly Emily says to Mrs. Williams, "Madam, kindly forgive Emma, ma'am. She has done it by mistake." She is not a liar and a cheater for she has told the truth to everyone so don't punish her After listening to Emily's kind words Mrs Williams gets emotional and hugs her She also says sorry to Emily for wrongdoing She hugs her daughter Emma too and guides her not to do anything like this in future The parents forgive Emma and she feels very relaxed. And when she sees up there at the moonlight, she finds the angel holding the golden book in her hands and writing something. 
Then Emma asks the angel. Oh angel, what are you writing in the golden book? My dear child, I am writing your name in this golden book because the Lord has sent me to write the names of all honest folks in his golden book. After saying this, she disappears. So dear friends, as I told you in the beginning that how the kind deeds done by someone makes him or her so special that he or she loved by God himself. We should never forget that what makes us powerful is our good character, but not money and other materialistic things. We may have made some wrong choices, but we may also have made some choices that were right. Focus on your good qualities because that is the real victory.